April is National Financial Literacy Month, and it's important to realize that teaching little kids about money is no joke. According to experts, kids understand basic money concepts by the age of three. And by age seven, many of their money habits are set for life. Here to help kickstart the conversation with your kids is Beth Kobliner, author of the bestseller, Make Your Kid a Money Genius Even If You're Not. Good morning, Beth. <laughs> Good morning. So let's start off by talking about the importance of this month and why it's so important to address it with your young ones. Well, most schools don't teach any personal finance, um, and so parents really need to pay attention to this. But as parents, many of us are either overwhelmed or afraid of money, and that's why I teamed up with Kate McKinnon in this video mm -hmm. to sort of offer a fun, light look at why money is so important to talk about with kids. Yeah, I was able to, to watch that video beforehand. I, first of all, I love Kate McKinnon on SNL, and I loved how she Me was too. with the kids. What are some takeaways? Ways yeah. from this video. Well, you want to use cash with kids. Kids see us swipe cards and they have no idea how we're magically buying things. So talk about cash. Use cash in front of your kids. If you give them allowance, give them allowance in cash. You know, giving them a debit card doesn't really make money feel real to them. Also, mm -hmm. you want to talk about delayed gratification or make it very clear we wait and we save up for something we want. Instead of, you know, buying a snack every day after school, we're going to save that dollar in a jar or piggy bank um, and we're going to save up for that toy or whatever it is your child really wants. Also open a bank savings account. Really important, you know, mm -hmm. for many people that was a rite of passage. You remember when you open that bank savings account? It's important to do that with kids today. Oh yeah, I certainly remember opening my first bank account as well and I love the right? analogy you yeah. use with <laughs> the affording a bite of pizza or maybe waiting for the whole slice of pizza as well. Kids will start to get it when you're talking pizza, that's for sure. Exactly. <laughs> and research shows when we delay gratification, mm -hmm. it has has a good impact on our life for a very long time. You know, people who don't, who wait, they tend to do better on their SATs or they, you know, do better on their body mass index. All these reasons of waiting and delaying also make sense for money, saving mm -hmm. up for something you want. You talk about a lot of positives and before we let you go, we want to hear maybe some of the mistakes that parents are making when it comes to having this conversation with their kids. Right. Don't fight about money in front of your kids. Research shows that when parents fight about money and the kids see that, they're more likely to have credit card problems down the road. Don't give in to your kid at the uh, cash register. That's a hard one as a parent. You know, you're there and your kid starts crying and you want to buy them something. Yep. Don't do it because, again, research shows those kids have worse credit problems if you're always giving in to them. Mm -hmm. And I think be honest with kids. You know, we're at a store. You want to say, oh, I'm out of money. I'm sorry we can't buy that candy. Just say, no, we're not going to buy it. It's not good for your teeth. And tell them the truth. Exactly. Say no to those Skittles. All right, Beth, thanks so much. <laughs> you can learn more about Beth's book or how to get your hands on a copy on our website, roadshow.com.